Does it trouble you that to so many people, science remains unintelligible, that science is something so foreign to people? People take some sort of pride in saying, oh, I know nothing about science, I'm a real Ab Luddite. Absolutely. Science and technology are the key to our civilization. I mean, look at television, look at so much. If you look at anything, food, anything, you find we have made a civilization based on science and technology. And then at the same time, have arranged things so that almost nobody understands science and technology. That is a clear prescription for disaster. We might uh, get away with it for a while. But sooner or later, this combustible mixture of ignorance and power is going to blow up in our faces. We must make science and engineering palatable. And the thing is, it is so exciting. It is so stirring. And uh, Well, it's exciting listening to you. It wasn't exciting in grade 11 physics, no, no, let me but, tell you. But let me tell you my experience. My experience is you go talk to, uh, to kindergarten kids or first grade kids, you find a class full of science enthusiasts. Um, and and the, they ask deep questions. Um, what is a dream? Why do we have toes? Why is the moon round? What's the birthday of the world? Why is grass green? These are profound, important questions. They just bubble right out of them. You go and talk to 12th grade students, and there's none of that. They've become leaden and incurious. Something terrible has happened and between kindergarten love... and 12th grade, and it's not just puberty. And you're a nerd if you love science in the 12th grade, a right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, Whatever this is due to, and part of it is certainly the fact that grown-ups have not made the excitement of science available to, to kids, uh, this is really foolish. We have, in fact, beaten science excitement out of kids. They start out excited, and then we arrange whatever the machinery is for them to wind up not liking it. And, and this is just so self-destructive.